it is another thursday which means another edition of your image last week we started conversation on the subject of restoration of examination ethics and the role publications can play we have three distinguished panelists first to discuss the subject and they concluded that there is a lot more to be said on this issue. so we have brought them back again this week to continue the conversation first as i did last week let me introduce triple a professor additional abulaki magbola he teaches mathematics as and is the director of ict at federal university of of agriculture, Abekuta. Prof, it's a pleasure to Thank you very to much. Yeah. Good evening, viewers. Next to him is Larry Riemi. Larry has been a career population manager at College of Education level. He's now retired, but still very active in the profession and in the society as well. Larry, it's a pleasure to welcome you. Thank program. you very much. And of course, we have the man who is also took the mantle of university administration. His name is Mr. Bamdele Bissiriu. Is a senior assistant registrar at the College of Law, Crescent University, Abekuta here. But I'm dead, it's, a pleasure. it's my pleasure. Gentlemen, I, I think I do not need to just really uh, recall what, but all of us knew that we ended on the note that that is for us to look at how to resolve some of these issues that uh, are really staring Nigeria in the face. But again, can I quickly just recall the point in which we are trying to look at the subject uh, of whether there's a variance between what the student purport to have learned through examination, verified by different examination bodies, whether you're talking about West Af African School Certificate or JAM, and then what their performance in school. And I think uh, uh, Bamidele tried uh, to give us an insight. But I'm sure, uh, Prof, being a teacher at that, you will have a little bit more of insight to give to us. So any variance that you have noticed, yeah, thank you very much. No, there exists a variance because when a student is entering into the university, the student is expected to have at least, you know, five credits in core subject areas. And the person, of course, must have also passed, you know, the job examination. And when the person, of course, now enters into the university, you expected that somebody, of course, now with, you know, minimum entry qualification and must have passed jam. You should expect that the person of course now should perform you know better mm. when it comes in and to the surprise you know of everybody you see students of course now parading very high score in jam you know very excellent result of course in waek or neko and whatever and the person of course has come into the university and the first examination of course now taken in the university that's the first semester of 100 level mm. the student of course now is already on probation <laughs> then you, has to, you start asking yourself what's the problem you know, by the time, of course, now the student is getting down to the second semester of the 100 level, of course, now it's almost, you know, being shown the way out of the university. And we have such cases. We have them many. And I think that is the reason why, of course, now university is in its wisdom, because we have the autonomy of the university, that these students, apart from a passing the work and a passing the, uh, the, 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 the jam, the jam they, must the they must be tested again. They must be tested now to actually, you know, confirm or affirm what, of course, now they're bringing into the university. And in the course of trying to re-examine this student, we have discovered so many things. We have discovered so many. In fact, you see, of course, a student, of course, now with A1 in WAEC in the course object area, very high score in, in jump, you know, and could not, could not defend those scores. We have seen such cases, you know. And if, of course, now it is not because of the, this post-UTME or the post jam as it is being called, you know, so many students of course have entered into the system, and a student that was assisted now to write the work, a student that was assisted now to write the jam examination, enter into the university, you know, and you still want to survive. What that's kind of person parent assist to write the university <laughs> exam? <laughs> and that's the reason why, of course, now you see students, of course, now joining different, you know, groups Good. in the university. Good. In fact, that's the base of the courtesy. Yeah. Because this student knows that, of course, now he was not the one that wrote the work. Exactly. He was not the one that wrote the exactly. I mean, they, And you are now facing stiff, the you know, drive to the drive now to, 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 to succeed to in the university. In and therefore, of course, now you just have to do all kinds of things. You know, learning the lecturers, you know, learning everybody, joining different groups and whatever. This is of the base of the problem, you know. And, and I think the problem is that, it's, in fact, it's of about um, five dimensional, I mean, um, 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 areas. The students, of course, now are having problems, you know. The parents, the parents in particular, 
you know, they are, they, they, they are even assisting the students. You know, some students, of course, now, we, they, some parents will say that because I'm a lawyer, you know, my child, of course, now must also become a lawyer. I'm a medical doctor. My, my child, of course, now also must become a medical doctor. When the, 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 the guy could not even do sciences. And you have to arrange that for the student now to pass the sciences, pass the examination in the YAC, pass the examination in, in the, I mean, in the, at the jam level, and enter into the university. To the extent that even the parents are also even struggling now to assist their parents, I mean, their, their children in the university. Yeah. We, we see it. That the, the parents will be coming, even after the examination now, going around the yeah. faculties, the, 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 the lecturer rooms, Lobby. trying to, to, to lobby. <laughs> you know, to lobby the lecturers. It's not it's it's that bad. Let's begin to <coughs> look at the ways out. Because it's not just a matter of one way out. But like you have said, we have almost different groups interacting to create a problem. Now, Larry, let's speak to students. Of course, don't let us go about uh, trying to really um, criticize, crucify them. But let's begin to look how to resolve the challenges that the students themselves are facing. First, how do we begin to correct our the notions, the mindset of our the desperation to succeed. How do we get out of this syndrome? Get the students to understand that examination is important, success is important, but doing so at the expense of honor and dignity, it's wholesomely bad for, for them and for the society. How do we tackle the students' issues? Thank you. Um, we agreed earlier that everybody comes from one home or the other. Hmm. And um, we need some PR platform at this stage. Okay. One of them is Parent consultation, uh, consultation Forum. When I say consultative forum, that is a gathering of parents, the lecturers, the staff of the uh, in academic institution coming together to have occasional interaction. There should be a kind of flow back mechanism between these institutions and the home. And if it is going to be happening maybe once in every semester, there are two semesters in a session. Maybe at the beginning of the first semester, there should be a, a parents forum. Where, when they come How does the student really feature in this forum? Because, because you're because, them off. Because, no, I'm not cutting them off. No. Because every student comes from one home. And, and we have agreed that parents are involved in this problem. I agree, but let's leave parents. How do we, the student themselves, how then, do we address call you? Yeah, I'm going, I'm going to that aspect too. Because, okay. um, like, when I was in service, uh, the, the management do have forum where they interact with the student directly. And these have become necessary because, like uh, you were telling Prof just now, that uh, there are two things you require from the students. Mm -hmm. To be professionally skillful yeah. and to be morally adequate. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there has to be that forum, maybe that kind of interaction. It's not, should be, not should be limited to 100 level students, fresh students, when they're coming, you organize orientation. Uh, orientation, orientation for them. There should also always be orientation that will cut across all levels of the divide. At 100 level, when they are coming in, you let them know, okay, you are living secondary life to where you are closely monitored, both by the home and the school at that level. But the level you are now entering, you have a lot of freedom, like Bistri was saying the other time. Mm -hmm. But that freedom must still be, because who are these students we are talking about? Sometimes as early as 13, 14, you find student universities now. That's an aberration. Which is an aberration. The law says right yes. that we are less than 16. 16 you can't at, be by, by October, you can be. That is the rule. But that has also been caught. As a result of that, you see the students are coming. The, the maturity is not there at the time they are entering. So we need, need to really also let them know here you are coming. It's an, it's an extension of where you have left. But the fact that they said you will be treated as an adult, even when many of them are still babies. So you still need to create that forum to talk to them through orientation, through sensitization talks. And then at the level of 200 level, 300 level, the guidance and counseling unit should be able to organize platform where they interact with you. You are welcome back as returning students. You know your expectation. Please don't, don't uh, stay too much before you do your necessary uh, uh, registering of your courses. Uh, do this, do this. And then uh, that platform, um, people who, 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 who have the capacity to preach morality to them should also be included. And also guidance can also tell them that, look, you are here to acquire 
your academic purpose. Let's switch to the educational institutions because they are so key. Mm. Um, again, taking from where Larry stopped, yeah. um, we are not just dealing with students, you are also dealing with young adults. Yes. And the most difficult stage in any life is that age of adolescence mm -hmm. and crossing to age of maturity. Mm -hmm. And the institutions them, themselves, what are those things that they are doing wrong? And what are those things that we should be doing right in the way we manage this examination of my practice at the educational institutions level? Okay. Uh, well, there are a lot of things to be done uh, by the educational institutions. One, um, for us not to compromise examination, we have to make sure that uh, the rules that are set out for examination are obeyed and followed. That's number one. Number two, we have curriculum at the tertiary institution level. We have curriculum, what you call scheme of work or what you call syllabus in the secondary school. It must be strictly followed. Lecturers or teachers must be made to teach what they should examine. In situations where you don't teach and you now want to examine students, it will give room for compromise. There is time frame for everything. This teaching and learning that we are talking about is with a time frame. There's a time for you to begin your teaching there's one particular thing that is very common in the society now. Secondary school, primary school, tertiary institution is very common. When students are on break for the holidays, by the time they resume school, many parents still take time out to allow their wards to still stay at home mm. for weeks, for months. You see, I institution students telling you that he just came to the university. Uh, you have resumed now. No, sir, I have not resumed. I just came to do one thing or the other. I'm still going back. You still take like two, three weeks for himself or herself. It's a very bad phenomenon. And it kills the morale of students. And it is detrimental to them. You know, it's, it, it, these are things that lead to examination of my practices. We should make sure we work with time. We should make sure we respect time and do our things properly. So I, I, I feel this is important. Prof, yeah. uh, quickly, you also look at the issue of examination of bodies. Um, some are curiously, um, embarrassingly too, you, when you are taking external examinations, um, GC London in those days, um, all of those who came down also, you hardly hear leakages. Mm -hmm. You hardly hear this kind of my practice, my practice on the high scale. Mm. How do you see? Because you see, jam is mm. not a, it's not immune. Waek is not immune. Neko is not immune. And these are the principal examination bodies in this country. What do we do to really ensure that on the part of examination bodies there is substantial reduction in examination my practice? Oh, <clears throat> well, thank you very much. You know, I think, um, you know, if you put this thing in sequence, yeah. you know, A leads to B, B leads to C, and so on and so forth like that. What we are currently having, either, I mean, within the examination bodies, you know, this examination my price, I mean, did not just start, you know, yesterday. The problem I'm having right now is that what? Most of the beneficiaries of all this examination my practice, or the product of this examination my practice, they are already in those systems. System. Those who, be, who, who, of course, now, you know, cut corners, you know, to, to pass through, you know, the WIAC, hmm. through the jam, through even, the, some are even escaping through the university. Not all of them, of course, now have been caught. Hmm. So those that escaped, you know, through the university and uh, through the higher institutions, they are now back, they, they, are, they are now back, hmm. you know, in the, those examination bodies. bodies. They are in WIAC, they are in ECHO, they are in jam, they are everywhere. Hmm. Even in the university, of course, now you see the, the lecturers, who actually pass through that fraudulent you mm. know, processes. Mm. They are now lecturers in the universities. They are lecturers in the polytechnic. They are lecturers, of course, in the college of, the college of, the, of education. That is the problem. I think we need to go back to the basis. If I have my way today, I will restore back the A-level system, method of you know, examination. There is no way, of course, now you pass through the A-levels. I am a product of the A-levels. You know? There is no way, of course, now you pass through the A-levels. That's... 
whatever of course now that has to be taken away from you of course might, might not have been taken away sorry from just you. just a quick intervention is mm. it not the same set of people that you are also <laughs> saying that compromises then we'll also be handling the same the, 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 the thing is that you know and i'll give you the reason why i'm saying that yeah in our university today, in my university today, the time of course now we are running the, the pre-degree examination that we're taking the, in fact, I think about 10 years ago or thereabouts, mm. you know, we take maybe about, about 30% from JAMP. Yeah. The yeah. core yeah. of our students, of course, now, yeah. we're from the pre-degree. And these are the students, of course, that we are prepared within the university. In fact, if I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten today, Majority of them are not professors in my university. They passed through the pre-degree because they were well baked. You know, the first class that we have produced in my department of mathematics, we are product of the pre-degree, you know, program of the university. And those of course that came through the jump and whatever now, they couldn't make anything. Mm. So they couldn't because it, they were not baked at all. It, it if you know the examination of course that you are going into, you will be well more prepared. You know, all the CBT we are doing now, whatever, and of course now you grief rooms now for cheating. But if you know if you're a student, With the CBT, yeah, I'm telling course. you, that, that, of, of course, course, mass cheating, because the person that is going to register you, you know, is already compromised already. Okay. Mm. Forget about all these uh, fingerprints and whatever they are doing now. You can do whatever uh, biometric, whatever you are doing. Mm. Somebody is in the, is, is in, is in inside the in the control room that we do and undo mm. the garbage in, garbage out. And that's the reason why you say, of course, now, you know, different, of course, now you know, can see maybe from the report now, over 100 people, of course, now we are caught mm. who are, you know, the professionals, examination writers. Yes. Ah, they've been doing it. Hmm. Well, we, we, we simply can't just throw our hands up. We, there must be ways out. But uh, again, part of the ways out is just to explore the different angles and dimensions to it. Let's take parents. Well, and we have said that parents are very crucial and they're important. Mm. What should we be doing to parents? Larry, well, for, for parents, I think that should be fora. Not one, not two, two not that. Should, that should be a kind of interface between tertiary institutions or institutions of higher learning and the various fora where that can be intercourse, where the university should be able to give a flow back to our parents. Okay. That, and I, that's why I was talking about uh, that. Uh, parents forum. Parent, the parent parent forum. Forum. Okay. Which is very critical. But we will, sorry, I, I think that all those things are not new. Even at the, uh, <laughs> at, 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 sorry, just, just wait a minute. A, 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 at the secondary school level, we have oh. National Parent Teachers Association. Yes, yes. Have, all these are structures. <laughs> in in Christian University, of course, now there's regular parent, parent forum. forum. <laughs> so, so it's not. Uh, <laughs> but now, I, I think the ball largely will be played into government's court. Yeah. What is the government's role in? tackling this major, major, phenomenal problem confronting Nigeria? Well, from my side, I think uh, government should not relent in enacting very strict laws. Regulation must be there, it must be followed. Uh, again, government has a function to make amenities available, provide educational facilities that will assist. There are so many higher institutions of learning without functional library. Mm. These days, we talk about ASU strike, we talk about uh, NASU strike, we go on, what is the causes of all this strike? Because provisions are not made for one thing or the other in this institution of learning. Okay. Prof, so last word from you. Yes, I think I How do we get out of it? If you now have to put a summary of all what you have said, government, the education institutions, and so on. I think the parents summary parents is that you know, the moral value, of course, should be restored, and either by the parents, by anybody, emphasis on the, on the certificates, of course, that must be reduced. That we must just have the certificate mm -hmm. by all means. You know, even we have people who are not, I mean, Bill Gates, of course, now dropped out from of the course, university, and course. today, you know what he's doing with his brain, you know? So let us de emphasize the issue of, I mean, you must have the certificate by all means. If of course now this is the de emphasized, that will be that, that, I mean the, 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 the rush to go to the university for of course now will be for certification, of course now will be limited. Exactly. And if there is no rush now for certification, you know, people of course now we we, we we go in their own way and they will do things of course now the way it should be done. Well, that probably is calling for very radical reform of our educational system because the the measurement of how good you are, how employable you are. 
uh, the measurement of your career progression, whether in the private sector or in public service of Nigeria, is still the certificate. Mm -hmm. And if it is the opinion of the panelists that we should de-emphasize it, we should pay much more attention on skill, on talent, on gift, um, not necessarily undermining the value of education, but ensuring that people acquire the right education, which will enable them to apply skill, knowledge to what they do. And not only in that way, but also keep uh, the moral value mm -hmm. of the society. I think that will be healthy for Nigeria. Well, it, it, it's a lot for us to chew and ponder over, but from this end, I, I think we have thrown the ball to the public court, particularly to government court. So let me thank uh, Triple A, Prof. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for coming. Larry, thank you again for a second week. Thank right? you. And Mr. Bissiru, it's a pleasure to have you for Thank you very much. This is the way it's going to be. Next week, we'll yeah. try to bring another interesting subject and in building the kind of nexus between populations and different disciplines of life. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.